Welcome to the Lenten devotion. Um, I'm really grateful that we can walk this Lenten journey with you, finding the inspiration from our beloved hymns from my hymnal. Uh, these hymns not only connect us closer to the scriptures, but also to Christians all around us. And today's hymn is hymn 597, O Day O Peace. Um, this hymn was written by a well-known American contemporary hymn writer, Cal Dow Jr. This hymn is a unique example of a writer being commissioned to write a hymn in our modern times. In this case, by the General Convention, um, specifically wanting to focus on the theme of peace. Um, also, interestingly, the process of writing this hymn began with the second verse first, which was inspired and paraphrased from Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6 to 9, uh, which reads, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of knowledge of the Lord. Apparently, Caldwell Jr. Um, struggled to begin writing this hymn, but was later inspired by the book Turning to Christ, A Theology of Renewal and Evangelization by Urban T. Holmes III, who was a great influence to the writer when he was a seminarian, at the School of Theology of the University of South. Calda Jr. found inspiration from this very Isaiah verses as he was reading this book. Um, this is just a classic example of how the scripture is so directly linked to our hymns. The act of singing hymns really is an act of prayer. And just like many wonderful prayers, they, um, these are centered around scriptures. Now, you will hear the similarities of the Isaiah passage to verse 2. Caldwell Jr. then wrote the first verse with the inspiration rooted to the Isaiah passage. In this case, you will find a great example of how a verse of a hymn is directly linked to a scripture reading, then another verse uh, being inspired by the scripture. It goes, O day of peace that dimly shines through all our hopes and prayers and dreams, Guide us to justice, truth, and love, delivered from our selfish schemes. May swords of hate fall from our hands, our hearts from envy find release. Till by God's grace our wearing world shall see Christ's promised reign of peace. Personally, I find this hymn very moving. Um, one might think, uh, with my background, um, of growing up in a Commonwealth country like New Zealand, the tune Jerusalem, where the text is um, sung to, might be the reason. Um, the tune Jerusalem is known to be one of the most majestic and dignified English hymns out there, but original text by William Blake uh, is described, quote, one of the almost fanatical zeal for all things English. Uh, one of our sextons, Rick and Reverend Q, uh, uh, always love it when I actually practice that hymn on the organ. But of course, the original text um, does not quite work for our worship services here. Um, nevertheless, the tune is one of the finest examples of great hymns. And the text by Cal Dow Jr. not only captures its majesty, but also brings certain sense of active anticipation for the day of peace. The season of Lent uh, really is all about waiting, 40 days and 40 nights, and we go through the deeply meaningful but also challenging Holy Week. The day when the wolf will dwell among the lamb will come, but we wait for that wonderful day and that they will come by God's grace and we'll all get to see the promised reign of peace. It has almost been a year since our first lockdown um, due to this pandemic. 
I find myself uh, waiting even more patiently as I remember uh, praying last year that we do not go through another season of Lent, Holy Week, and the festivities of Easter with the pandemic. However, uh, this year I find myself um, needing and praying more uh, for more patience, and that does not mean I'll be inactive in my waiting. Uh, reading through this wonderful hymn is one of the ways to stay active, bringing um, the energy, um, the energetic anticipation for the great season of Easter, a time of, time of peace, and time when we can be all together and singing together safely, praising and worshiping God. Join us as you listen or even joining in singing as you welcome this exciting anticipation in the season of Lent. Now let us pray. O oh my God, Almighty oh God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.